Hi guys, so this week's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to pull cards. I'm actually going to talk about the great conjunction that's happening on December 21st. Uh, this is an amazing uh, astrological transit and I want to talk about it because I think that we need hope at this point in time. Um, that full moon lunar eclipse that just passed on the 30th kicked my ass and I know for sure many many other people got their ass kicked too so I'm still recovering from that today is the December 3rd um, so I want to just give a little glimmer of hope this December 21st great conjunction is happening when Saturn and Jupiter enter at zero degrees Aquarius the last time Saturn and Jupiter met in Aquarius was 1405, so a little over 600 years ago. Um, and uh, every 20 years, Jupiter and Saturn meet. But for the last 200 years, they've been meeting in Earth, Earth signs. So it's been in a triplicity of Earth. Um, they're meeting. So they meet every 19 and a half years, every 20 years in earth uh, except for 1981 they actually met in libra um, so we're exiting this triplicity of earth and entering into air signs so over the next 200 years jupiter and saturn will meet every 19 and a half to 20 years in air signs starting in aquarius so what does this mean what does all of this mean so jupiter is the benefic planet uh, the optimistic planet, the planet of expansion. And Saturn is the malefic, the great malefic. So we have the great benefic and the great malefic meeting in Aquarius. And all year they've been in Capricorn. So Jupiter's debilitated in Capricorn, which means that it's not very happy in Capricorn. It can't, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn was in its home sign in Capricorn all of 2020. This explains literally, literally everything around you right now that's happening can be simply explained by Saturn in Capricorn um, and Pluto in Capricorn. So if we think about what this means, um, Saturn is about rules and regulations and structure and policies and restriction okay and jupiter is about the complete opposite that's why when they meet it is it is such an intense um uh there's so much intensity because you have these two polar opposites meeting um they're meeting in aquarius zero degrees aquarius um, so this is amazing because Aquarius is about freedom and liberation and equality and fairness, okay? And so Saturn is the traditional ruler of Aquarius. The modern day ruler is Uranus. And so when Saturn is in Aquarius, it's just, in my personal opinion, I feel better when Saturn is in Aquarius versus Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn in Aquarius makes sure that everything is still in order, but it's in order for everyone rather than arbitrarily just everything in order, like how we're seeing things now, you know, lineups and you have to wear masks and rules and regulations and restrictions and everybody's feeling squished and you've got to go into court and you can't leave your house and you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do anything. And it's making everyone want to go crazy, right? Because it's just everywhere you go, someone's on top of you trying to enforce some kind of a rule or a regulation. In Aquarius, things are going to be more, you know, starting on December 21st, which happens to be the solar, or sorry, the, um, the winter solstice, So, which is beautiful, right? Uh, beautiful time of year. It's not by accident. This is not by accident. This is ushering into a new era, okay? We have been in this earth triplicity for 200 years. We've literally mastered the earth. You know, agriculture and industry and consumerism and capitalism and stuff, material things. And, you know, building our world and there's been the industrial revolution. There's just been like massive development of the earth and now we're moving into air so i my hope is that that means what that means is 
you know, we're going to develop our intelligence, which I'm sorry to break it to everyone, it's much needed right now. So the air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, there's going to be massive advancements in technology, like mind-blowing advancements in technology. If you think about 1405, when Jupiter and Saturn met then, this was the Renaissance. This was the great uh, painters and the most beautiful literature came out of this time when Jupiter and Saturn met in Aquarius. So this is exciting, you guys. This is not, so, this is like, I feel like, like the silver lining of 2020. It is the astrological transit that I've been waiting for all year. When I think about it, I get shivers in a good way. Like, I just know that it's, we're moving into a quicker, faster paced society. Things will become faster and quicker and like upgrades to our intelligence and our knowledge. We're going to use intelligence, not just for the sake of having it, but remember it's an Aquarius for the sake of equality and fairness. So everybody is treated equally and fair. And I think that that's amazing. I think that that's something that, you know, we can look forward to. It's not going to happen overnight. This is going to be the beginning. This is the beginning of a new era. This is we're leaving behind the old ways of doing things, the ways that didn't make any sense, but we were still just doing them. So for example, people flying to different parts of the world just to meet and have a meeting where now we're using technology to meet with people because of course that saves money on hotels, flights, travel, all of this stuff. We can do all of the, the same things, but quicker and faster and um, with, with less of a waste of resources. So we're going to be thinking along those lines. What's better for everyone? What's better for the planet? What's going to make things equal? What's going to level the playing field? Remember, the sign of Aquarius is a, is a rebellious sign, and especially when it comes to injustice, okay? So this is beautiful that this is the beginning of this, this air era. So things won't be the same anymore, but I feel like it's going to be better moving forward. And yes, there's going to be a lot of hiccups along the way because people are going to want to hold on to these old ways of doing things that have worked for them. People are going to want to keep their power and their position in life. But it isn't going to end up that way. People are not, like you see it, you see the awakening happening already where people just are like, that's not right. Those people in that group are humans too let's treat them right like why aren't we like what do you mean we're not treating them right so people are waking up and i i feel like you know it's something to look forward to at least and it again it's not going to happen overnight this instant uh wanting things to be a certain way and perfect isn't going to happen overnight it's going to take everyone's contribution to make this work to so i would i recommend um i'm just going to leave you with this is how do you want your world moving forward? Start thinking about that. Stop looking at what's happening around you and go spiraling into anxiety, despair, a sense of hopelessness. It's all of our job to create the new world. And I don't mean new world as in conspiracy theory, the new world order. And that's not what I'm talking about. Like if we want something to change, we have to be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. So this conspiracy theory stuff, you know, like rein it in and let's focus on what we want to create. Okay. It, it doesn't matter if we're, tr if we're being controlled right now, Saturn's not in Capricorn much longer. You guys, Pluto will be in Capricorn for a while. So yes, that, that tells me, I think it's to 2025, 2023, um, that, yeah, there's going to be some governmental control over us for a while. Um, but again, Pluto's also about transformation and change. And so that's also going to change and you have to hold on to that belief. And that's only going to change because we, the people are going to make sure that that changes. And the way that we can do that faster is by actually focusing, focusing on what we want rather than what we don't want. Stop talking about what we don't want all the time. Stop thinking about what we don't want all the time. 
use our create our creativity our creative mind to propel us into a future that's better for everyone i hope that that helps you this week if you have any questions um, or if you're interested in learning more about astrology tune in to mine and emma boardman's monthly astrology seminar i can give you the details if you message me here or on my facebook pages uh, which i'll link below take care and have a good one